Hello. In this video, we are going to learn how to use PPMT and IPMT function in Power BI. We learned how to use PMT function in our previous video. If you haven't watched it, please check out my previous video. Before we implement this function in Power BI, let's try to understand what this function means with some definition and also with the help of simple example in Excel. Here we have the definition and the syntax returns the payment on the principal for a given period for an investment based on periodic constant payments and a constant interest rate. And we have the parameters here, the syntax and the arguments. So it takes our six parameter, the rate, the period, the number of periods, present value, future value, and type, which is optional, which will determine whether uh, the payment are due at the end of the period or at the beginning of the period. And if I go to the other function, IPMT function, it's exactly the same. The only difference between the PPMT and IPMT is here, it returns the interest payment, interest component, okay? But in PPMT, we get the principal component. And again, the parameters arguments are exactly the same. And again, it is a five parameter, sorry, it's six parameter, and the last one being optional similar to the principal uh, PPMT function. So basically to reiterate, the PPMT and IPMT function calculates the principal and interest component of a loan at a constant interest rate for a particular period, okay? And if I scroll down a bit, we have some remarks. I'm not gonna get into all the details. And we have some example as well. So we have an example which says 8% uh, interest rate, 10 years for the loan and loan amount. Now let's go to Excel and then try to calculate or use these two function, the PPMT and IPMT function. And then let's later uh, try to do the same thing in Power BI. So I have this information here, which has annual interest rate 8%. And the tenure of the loan, that's 10 years, loan amount $200,000. And periods, that's uh, 12 months. It's a monthly payment, so 12 times 10, 120. So we know already know what is the opening balance, right, at the beginning. So we have borrowed a loan, let's say $200,000, we know it. Now we, have, we need to calculate the uh, PMT or monthly payment. So we already discussed about PMT function in our previous video, but still let's go ahead and use it here. A PMT and we have the annual interest rate here. I'm gonna hard code this using function F4 divided by 12 because this is annual interest rate since we are calculating monthly, I'm gonna divide it by 12. And number of periods we have it here, right? 10 times 12, 120. So I'm gonna hard code it again here. And the present value, we know the loan amount is 200,000. And the future value, it's zero because once we make all the payment, it will be zero. And let's assume that we are making payment at the end of the period, so zero. And now hit enter. So I got my monthly payment, okay? So in this monthly payment, we have interest component and also the principal component. First, let's try to uh, differentiate this one, calculate interest component. Again, I'm gonna use IPMT function, interest payment. Again, rate, we have it here, hard code this using dollar symbol and divide by 12 because we want to be monthly. And period, this is a period, so this is the first month, so Number of periods, we have it here, 120. I'm gonna hard code it again. And present value, we have the loan amount here. Again, I'm gonna hard code using dollar symbol. And future value, it's zero, okay? And type, let's assume end of the period. So now we got the interest component, IPMT. Now let's do, let's do the same thing for the principal, PPMT. And we have the rate here, function F4 to hard code this one. Period, so this is the first period. 
and number of periods 120 i'm going to hard code this again f4 present value $200,000 hard code this using dollar symbol and future value zero and type is equal to zero future value is zero because once we make all the payment the balance will be zero and let's assume that we are making at the end of the period okay so now we got the principal and we did a mistake here so the interest rate this is annual, so I'm gonna divide this by 12 to get my monthly interest. Uh, and now I got the principal. So interest plus principal gives me the monthly payment amount. So now to calculate the closing balance, we have the opening balance of the loan and the principal which we paid, PPMT. So this is my closing balance at the end of the period one. So the next month, my uh, in the second month, my opening balance will be my closing balance of my previous period, okay? And then I have, I'm gonna uh, drag the formula down, okay? And now if, if I copy this formula and drag till the end of the period, till here, my balance should become zero. You see, at the end of the tenure, that is one twentieth month, I have my uh, balance, which is zero, the future value. So this is how we can calculate the monthly payment amount and also differentiate between the principal component and also the interest component using the Excel built-in function. So now let's try to do the same thing in Power BI. Okay, let's go to Power BI. So here I have the PBI file. And I have created a simple table with one column called period, okay? So it has values ranging from one to 120. That's the uh, loan duration. That is 10 years times 12 months, 120. So that's a period which I've created. And if I go to the report, I have created a simple table here. And we have the information pasted over here. Annual interest rate 8%, loan period 10 years, loan amount and number of periods, that's 10 years into 12 months, 120. So now let's quickly create a measure and first try to calculate the total monthly payment, PMT, okay? So I'm gonna use PMT function first. And we already know the rate, right? It's 0.08 uh, percentage, 8 percent. And to make it monthly, I'm going to divide this by 12. Number of periods, we know it's 120. And present value of the loan, it's 200,000. Future value, we know it will be zero. And type, let's assume that it's end of the period. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. So now let me convert this to dollar. And bring this here. And I think I need to reduce this to a one decimal place. So we got the monthly payment. Now let's try to calculate the interest component. Select new measure. I'm gonna call this as IPMT, that is interest payment equal to IPMT. And again, rate is 0 0.08 divided by 12 because we need monthly period. I'm gonna use a max function to get the period for each rows. So fact period. And then number of periods, we know it's 120. And present value, we know it's 200,000. And future value will be zero. And the type will be zero because it's end of the period. Hit enter. And now let me change this to dollar. And one decimal places. So now if I bring this here, I have the interest component. 
And now let's do the same thing for the principal. Call this as PPMT, principal payment is equal to PPMT. Again, rate 0 0.08 divided by 12. Period, I'm going to use max function again to get my period for each record. And number of periods, we know it's 120. Present value, $200,000. And future value, zero. And type, end of the period, that's zero. Close the parentheses and hit enter. Convert this to a dollar and to one decimal place. And now if I bring this to the values here, I have my principal component. If you look here, IPMT plus PPMT gives me the monthly payment. That is 2426, 1,333 plus 1,093 gives me 2,426.6 dollars. So if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see at the end of the period, this is my interest payment, interest component. So at the end of 120, all my loans are paid. And this is how we can calculate interest and the principal component in Power BI. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please like this video. And if you have any questions, please drop a note in the comment section and I'm going to revert back to you. And don't forget this to share with your friends or colleagues. Okay. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.